Alright, this is part one of building the no hot wire flying wing. Um, this is just how I shave out the airfoil, like, which is the cross section here. Um, so essentially I just take some of this pink foam, I cut out my wing shape, and then I take one of these, it's sort of a wood cheese grater, I guess. That's what I call it. Um, and it's difficult to demonstrate with one hand, but I just do long strokes down the wing a layer at a time and just keep going until I've shaved out the whole airfoil. So I would show you, but I can't be bothered to, and also it would be really hard to film it with one hand while doing that with the other. So also just a tip, put the rest of your sheet of foam underneath where you're shaving because those shavings go everywhere. Like you can see there's some on my hand, I actually can't see it, but down my pants, which you also can't see there. It's irritating stuff, but... So that's the disadvantage to doing this instead of hot wiring, but the advantage is that you don't have cancer-inducing foam fumes. So, I don't know. Also, this is less annoying because you don't have to build a hot wire cutter. Um, but yeah, so there's the airfoil. That's how I make the airfoil. Okay, I will next show you how I tape it up. Alright, this is the next step, which is tape covering. Here's my right wing, which I've already done. My left wing's over there, it hasn't been taped yet, which I will show you how to do that, but... I'm just going to demonstrate what it, the finished product looks like. So you've got... Uh, there's a little bit sticking up there. I should fix that. Good enough. Um, so yeah, you get a pretty shiny, smooth surface. Um, Fairly stiff. Yeah, it's pretty stiff. Um, doesn't bend much, shouldn't flex too much in flight. Um, but you can see that this method of using the shaver cheese grater thing is clearly a lot better than my old method of doing no hot wire flying wings, which was to just have two thin sheets of foam. Well, one thin sheet for the wing and then put another sheet up at the front and then to make a KF airfoil, which sort of creates just a little bubble of turbulence in there that the air goes over as an airfoil, but I would all, I would do it with just a sort of knife-hewn leading edge, which was really draggy and pretty bad. So here is the old method, pretty awful, didn't fly all that well, and here is the new method, so a lot better, a lot better, a lot better. Um, yeah. Okay, next, um, alright, I will now show you how I actually do all of the taping. This one, generally what I do is I just sort of do a basic layoff of the tape. I don't really um, do any sort of special pattern. I just do it strips front to back, starting in the middle, starting at the root, and then just do a strip down, then do another strip with about a millimeter to two millimeters of overlap. It's a little bit wrinkly here because I was just figuring out how to do it and it wasn't good all, all that good there. Here there's a little wrinkle because the tip of the carbon rod kind of makes a little bulge and then that went all the way down. But the rest of it, it's pretty smooth. It's a nice smooth finish. There's some bits of foam on it. As you can see, that foam dust just literally goes everywhere. It sticks to everything, but there's the wing. Nice smooth surface. Um, Alright, so here. Alright. Now to show you how I do it. This may be tricky. I'm going to have to put the camera somewhere. So just give me a sec while I get my tripod. And then I will demonstrate how to do this. Alright, so I've got my tripod set up so you can see what I'm doing without me having to hold the camera. Um, so first thing we do is I put the carbon rod in, it's already in this wing. So I just slide these together, press the carbon rod into there. And then get the tape a little bit longer so it can overlap onto the other side just to give it a little bit of a connection. So then the tricky thing is what I have to do is I'm going to tape it on the trailing edge word side of the thing first, I guess the back side of it first. 
on the back side of the carbon rod first. Then I'm going to pull up slightly on the nose in order to pinch the rod in there while I stick it down. And yes, this rod used to be an arrow because um, I used to be doing into archery, so this used to be a carbon fiber arrow. But um, I don't do archery anymore, so now I use it as a wing stiffener. Yay, recycling! All right, so there, carbon rod is in, and because I pulled on this while I stuck it in there, it's not in there nice and tight. So that's very important. So what I do, so just to go over it again, is tape it on the back side, pull up on the nose, and then while you're pulling up, you stick the tape down. Now, I need to, what, where's my, um, then I just kind of run the side of the tape roller thing over the tape to smooth it down. So that's down nice and stuck. Well, um, okay, so I'm going to start doing the tape covering now. So first, I'm going to do a piece, watch this be too short, nope, it's perfect, okay, to connect the two wing halves. There. Stick that on, fold over the excess, which there wasn't much, just about perfect. Okay, so that those are joined now. There you can see they're joined. Um, all right, and then basically you just want to start doing um, a bunch of layers of tape. Just go all the way down the wing, overlap them just a little bit each time. And by the way, if you want to build this wing yourself, the dimensions are 48 inch wingspan. So from wing tip to wing tip, it's 48 inches. So each wing half is 24 inches. And cut them out separately. And then this is, I believe, 12 inches. Hang on a sec, I'm gonna get my tape measure. All right, so I'm back. I've got my tape measure so I can tell you what the measurements are. This is 11 and 3 quarters inches. I didn't do it, or is it, let's see. Yeah, it's about 11 and 3 quarters inches because, I don't know, I messed up on the cutting. Make this 12 inches because that's easier than 11 and 3 quarters. So just 12 inches here. This here, the wing tip, is 7 inches. Okay, I thought it was 8, it was 7. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, so yeah, those are seven inches. And then the sweep is, I'm gonna line that up, line these up with the edge of the table, four inches. So, like if you put, if you make a line from here to here, that will be four inches behind the back of the center. So, okay, those are the dimensions. So if you wanna make your own, those are the dimensions. And the airfoil on it, if you wanna make it, um, it's, um, airfoil, I guess. I'm not sure. I didn't actually use any sort of, oh, sorry, that's not in camera, any sort of specific airfoil because I couldn't be bothered to. I just sort of did a general airfoil shape with a, a semi-symmetrical leading edge and then a flat-bottomed trailing edge. Um, okay. Uh, all right. So, all right, back to taping. Here, I'm going to fast forward through this so that you don't have to watch all this irritating, boring taping. Okay. Okay, so that's this side all taped up. That's the bottom taped up. I'm going to do the top now. Um, as you can see, it's a bit more rigid now, but it's because there's none on the top, it's not a lot more rigid yet. Um, right. And actually, I'm not sure if I'm going to fast forward this or just skip over most of the tape. So there we go, that wing is done. 
can see it's here. Um, I'm gonna have to adjust the camera a bit. Eh. There, you can see it's fairly large. It's a uh, four foot wingspan. Um, there we go. It's nice and light. Um, not sure exactly how light, but pretty light. It feels nice and it's nice and stiff too, you can see. Not too much flex. That was pushing pretty hard. Um, yeah. Alright, so there's how I do the basic build of this wing. Uh, next video is I'll be showing the installing the electronics and putting the fins on and stuff. Okay, goodbye.